2S versus 3S Arma. I know, I know, you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about buying the 2S one because it's cheaper and then you can modify it and then you'll learn how, to, how it all comes together and you'll have your own creations, unique thing, and it'll be awesome. But then you're like, what if I get the 3S on sale or used and that would be even better and it's 3S and I don't really have to do much with it, right? So that's your, that's your problem and that's what a lot of us are going through. So I, the point of this video is I'm gonna to try to help you figure out what to do by answering questions on your own. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do because it really is gonna be different for each person. Uh, this car is a 2S model, Mega that was turned into 3S, sort of. Stock 3S, 4S car is a stock 3S car. Objectively, okay, objectively, the Mega, sucks it does and that has to do with the physics because all the the components that go into running a 3s car is dumbed down to run a chassis of the same size and same weight generally speaking okay so this can be very very weak if you think you're gonna buy a mega and then you're gonna play around with with it for a little bit until you get bored that time that you're playing around until you get bored is gonna be five seconds because it is very, very underwhelming. And I have, I don't have high expectations of these cars. I am not a professional racer. I don't get sponsored by anybody. I don't do jumps. I don't go nuts. I just do YouTube videos for regular people who are just buying one or two cars for themselves. Okay. So the Mega is not something that you're going to be driving stock for very long or at all. And even for kids, if you're going to buy a car for kids and you're thinking you want to get something slower or whatever, then I would recommend a different car. Okay. And we're going to go, over, I guess we just point them out. I'll put in the link in the description, but it's going to be a high boxing car, either that guy or that guy. Okay. For kids, if you want, if you want them to do something slower, but kids can actually handle more RC car driving than you think. So you don't necessarily need to get something that's too dumbed down, but the Mega is not something you're gonna to wanna to keep stock. So if you buy a Mega, it, number one, it must be on super sale at Tower Hobbies. And number two, you are planning, okay? You are planning, committing <laughs> to converting it into either 2S or 3S. I would say 2S because there's so much work involved and I have a video of what needs to be changed in the Mega to become a true 3S and that's just, that costs more than, than the 3S to begin with. And again, you're not gonna have the Mega for very long before converting. So the argument or the recommendation for me is that you buy the Mega with the intention of converting it to 2S, okay? Not 3S, Mega to 2S. And why would you spend money on converting a Mega car to 2S versus 3S, okay? And that has to do with reliability. Reliability, okay? Not all of you, including myself, necessarily like to be wrenching on the cars and working on the cars longer than we're playing with the cars. You know, some of us like to tinker and, and toy around. I do too, but to a degree, I'd much, much rather be playing with the car in the field or something rather than working on the car. And with the 3S car, honestly, the design and the chassis can't handle its own power. And there's gonna be damages, there's going to be stripping, there's going to be shocks that are breaking, there's going to be motor mounts that are messed up, and you're going to be spending not just time, but money and waiting for parts and blah, 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 to keep that running, okay? So if you want to avoid that, then you would convert a Mega into a 2S car, which I warn you, will cost more than a stock 3S, okay? And repeat that. Converting a Mega into a 2S car with higher reliability will cost you more initially than the cost of a stock 3S car, okay? So if you're okay, okay, we're gonna answer the question, 2S versus 3S. If you're okay with buying parts and taking it apart all the time, then 3S, okay? The power is impressive, it is, no denying that. The 2S, however, is way more reliable, way more reliable, and you're not gonna need nearly as many replacement parts at all. So I've actually really fallen in love with my 2S cars, this one, and actually that guy is now 4S. Um, but the 2S one is actually one of my favorite and it has to do with reliability, bar none. Okay, I'm reading your mind. You're asking me, asking yourself, how slow is the 2S? <laughs> okay, do I really want a 2S versus a 3S? Okay, me driving these in public, 
at the park with people who aren't in RC cars or people who have vague interest. When they're go when they go 25 miles an hour, it's not that impressive. It looks kind of fun. Okay. When it goes to 28 to 32, majority of people consider that fast. Okay. So just survey. Okay. They consider that fast. I know on YouTube, it's like everyone's trying to hit 80 miles an hour, hundred miles an hour or anything less than that is too slow. But in reality, for most people, if you're hitting anywhere close to 30 miles an hour, that is fairly fast for a car, especially of this size where it's somewhat impressive, just the beefiness of it. And it's, it looks like it's more than a toy and it's going 30 miles an hour. It's not anything to be sad about or, or whatever. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. 30 miles an hour is going to be good. 32 miles. It's going to be good. If the closer you get to 40 miles per hour, okay, which is going to be basically the three S cars, the more damage it's going to, it's going to have to sustain. Okay. So you want to stay in the 30 miles per hour area. Okay. And so I'll put in the description below my combination of gearing and KV size of the motors and all that kind of stuff because I've tried many combinations to get to where I like. So my recommendation is 2S over 3S for reliability and the speed is impressive enough. Is it gonna be, is it gonna impress your friends who are in RC cars? Not at all. Well, they may, if they haven't experienced a custom built 2S and they drive yours, they may be impressed. They may be like, wow, that's faster than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, but it's not gonna be as fast as 3S and that's kind of the goal because you don't want it super fast. You don't want it running into poles and braking. You don't want it stripping gears and stuff like that, okay? So the 2S is gonna be more reliable and I'm gonna get hammered in the comments below by all the people who are 3S fanatics and that's totally fine, 3S is good. Well, since we're on this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about a little bit on the 4S car and that's this guy, okay? so. I built the 4S just because I already had the 3S here and then I had the other 3S and then 2S. And so I thought, why not make one 4S? And so that thing is fast. <laughs> it's very, very fast. But unless you're into straight line racing or, or speed runs and stuff like that, we're just going down the street and it might look cool on YouTube and no disrespect, but personally, I get bored of going back and forth, back and forth for, for too long. You know, once you build it and you put all the work into it and you're putting your ratios and stuff like that and calculators, and then you actually run it and see how fast it goes. That's the fun part. Okay. But when you're going back and forth, back and forth, and that's all you do, it's not gonna be that much fun. So the two, to me, the two S cars on dirt around trees and drifting and stuff like that, that's, that's where the fun's at for me personally. Now you're going to ask me <laughs> the question again, if I had to go back, would I get a two S car or a three S car? Okay, my situation is that I don't have a lot of friends who are into RC cars and I was building a track for myself. So I was justifying buying more cars so other other friends can, who don't have cars can drive with me um, on that track. And so that's kind of why I bought more than two. The truth of the matter of fact of 2S versus 3S is not which one you're going to get, it's which one you're going to get first. Okay, let's be very honest with ourselves. If you believe everything I said, and you do buy a Mega and you care about reliability and that's why you bought the Mega with the intention of modifying it to 2S and it runs great and it goes the speed that you want and you're enjoying it and it really is reliable. In the end, you're still going to go to sleep. You're going to put your head down before you fall asleep. You're going to think, what is it like to drive a 3S? I still want to know. It's so tempting. I still want to know. And then you're going to go on websites and you're going to see it's on sale or you're going to go on Amazon and it's going to be cheaper and you're going to be tempted to buy it and you probably will. So you'll have a 2S and then 3S. You'll get the 3S and then you'll go through all the issues of the 3S <laughs> that I explained. And then you'll understand that. So, and then you'll start to appreciate why you had the 2S to begin with. Okay. The other scenario is that you buy the 3S first because you don't have to modify anything. You just buy it and then you deal with things as they come along. And at that point, you may get to a point where you're as frustrated as I was, and then you remember this video and you're thinking, okay, maybe Brian has a point. Let's try getting a Mega for cheap and then modifying it to 2S and see how reliable that is. And so, again, it's not a matter of 2S versus 3S as much as it is a matter of 2S first, and then 3S experiencing that you know, getting out of your system of what it's like to get 3S 
and then appreciating the reliability of 2S. Or again, the second scenario of getting the 3S first and then getting frustrated with it and then getting 2S and figuring out how to make it reliable but still fine and fast. Okay, so that's my take on it. Uh, I think in the end, honestly, I would probably end up getting two. Uh, my route was getting the 3S first, going through those frustrations, and then building the 2S. And that's how this video kind of came to be in my mindset. So I think 2S versus 3S, you're going to get both. It's just a matter of what you want to do first. <laughs> okay. All right. Take care. Bye.